Silent Image is a ton of fun. It's a first level illusion spell available to bards, sorcerers, wizards, and warlocks with the Misty Visions invocation. Silent Image can be used to create the image of one object, one creature, or one visible phenomenon. The total size of the illusion can be no larger than a 15 foot cube. And the illusion is not accompanied by sound, smell, or any other sensory effects like heat, cold, light, etc. Basically, the image is a hologram. The image doesn't move until you use your action on a later turn to cause it to move. As the image moves, it can appear natural, like a creature walking or water flowing. The illusion can be broken for a specific creature if that creature physically interacts with it, sees things pass through it since it has no substance, or succeeds on an investigation check against your spell save DC. If any of these things happen, that creature can see through the illusion. I'll get into more specifics of the spell's rules as we go, but for now, let's look at a few ways to use Silent Image effectively. For starters, you can use the spell to create a hiding space for your party. When you are hoping to spy on some bad guys, avoid a passing patrol, or hide from predators, Silent Image can come in handy. If you're able to use the entire 15 foot cube, that's up to 9 medium creatures you can hide. If you make an illusion that blends in naturally with the environment, it should prevent anyone from investigating. On the more daring side, you can actually make an illusory huge creature with silent image, big enough to hide your comrades while moving. However, you'll need repeated use of your action to move the creature as you and your party move with it. And if the huge creature is out of place in whatever environment you're in, it might draw more attention than the stealth mission calls for. Number 2. Set up an ambush. On the more offensive side of things, Silent Image can be used to give you and your ranged allies attack advantage for the opening attack of a fight, at the very least. If you make an attack from behind a hiding spot created with Silent Image, you're an unseen attacker, which means you have attack advantage for that attack. Now, at that point, any creature who witnessed the odd physical interaction of an arrow or spell flying through your illusion can see through the false image. This is the harsh rules as written of the situation. One semi-cheesy workaround for this downside is to simply add arrow slits to any illusory wall you create and fire through those. I'd rule that a creature firing back would maybe have disadvantage until they saw their projectile fly through the wall, so the spell would last a bit longer but still fail early on in combat. Even if you only get one advantaged attack out of this, you might also surprise the enemies getting your party a full round of attacks before they can respond. Number 3. Show things or people you've seen before to NPCs. This is the thing you'll end up using Silent Image for all the time. When you're looking for a creature that you've seen before, simply making a silent image version of it is the best way to get that detective work done. Likewise, you can make 3D maps of spaces you've seen before. You could even use your familiar to get a look at a dungeon or outdoor space before your party approaches, and then draw them a perfect map of what you've seen with silent image. Lastly, you can make an illusory version of any MacGuffin, relic, or any other object of interest to show the thing you're talking about to sources who might know more about it. Number 4. Conjure a Distraction for example, creating an illusory ne'er-do-well looking guy to walk near guards in a suspicious manner. Then when the guards go to investigate the guy, you sneak past. Number 5. Conjure an intimidating creature. False dragons, ogres, beholders. There are a lot of huge or smaller creatures that would be a scary sight to behold for most onlookers. Not having sound to go along with the monsters can be a dead giveaway, but using minor illusion or some other auditory trick, you might be able to sell the whole thing possibly with a performance check involved. If you're looking to quickly drive things away rather than lure them in, you can also use this trick to escape and hide from pursuit. As you run away from pursuers when you're out of their line of sight, create an image of a false wall or some other plausible hiding spot that blends in with your environment, then hide behind it with your party. Or go down a corridor and then block it off with an image of a wall that blends in. You can also make false dead ends and the like to encourage pursuers to look elsewhere. Number seven, make convincing traps. A 15 foot gap can fit an illusory bridge that might trick a few foes into falling to their deaths or serious mammings. Or you can make a false floor that hides a pit trap. You could even make the top stair look like it's in a slightly different location, causing someone to tumble down the steps. On the out of combat side of things, this could just be a harmless bar prank where you trick someone into sitting on an illusory stool. Number eight, steal stuff. Whenever you pilfer something that might get noticed, you can create an illusory version of it so that nobody who sees the area will notice it's missing until they have reason to touch it. This buys you a 10 minute head start for any theft based missions. Of course, the verbal, somatic, and material components of the spell will be a dead giveaway if onlookers are present when you cast it, so you'll need to find a way to be alone with the object you hope to steal first. Number 9. Hide Bodies Sometimes stealth missions go awry and you wind up killing some creatures you'd rather have snuck past. When you get a mulligan on your stealth tactics, Silent Image can create a hiding spot for the slain so that their bodies don't alert other denizens of the area, at least for 10 minutes. Number 10. Trigger an Ambush 
If you fear being caught unawares, you can create a silent image of one of your party members walking to the area you fear. Hopefully enemies will attack the image and give away their location. If this trick works especially well, you might even get the jump on them with a surprise round. Number 11. Long Distance Communication Make the image of words that your party or friendly NPCs can read from far away. If the sentence is short, you can fit a huge size font on a 15 foot wide billboard. Rules is written, you can't change what the text says after the initial casting, you can only move it around, so make your message count. Number 12. Combine it with minor illusion for sound. If you need help selling an illusion, it's pretty simple to just create an accompanying sound with minor illusion, the cantrip. It doesn't require concentration to maintain a sound for up to one minute with minor illusion, so you can pull this trick off alone. Number 13. Aid performance checks. If you or an ally, cough cough bard, is putting on a performance, sound image can certainly add to the show. Number 14. Create an illusory wall. Throwing up an illusory wall in front of a squishy party member might make ranged enemies less inclined to focus on or pursue them. If your ranged allies are extra clever, they can only pop around the wall to shoot their arrows or spells so that they don't break the illusion early through physical interaction with it. Number 15. Be an illusion wizard. This is a really long game move, but illusion wizard's 14th level feature, illusory reality, lets you turn an illusory object into a real object for one minute. Now you can do things like create an illusory bridge, make it real for a minute to walk across it, and then any perseers who saw you do that and try to follow will fall to their deaths, for the extra 9 minute silent image last at least. You can also make real stone walls for a minute, not bad for a first level spell slot, even if the wall you make is much smaller than a 5th level wall of stone. That's all I've got for uses of silent image, but I do want to go over the spell's rules to help DMs and players figure out what's allowed. Most importantly, silent image cannot be cast stealthily. It has verbal, somatic, and material components, so it's not the sort of thing you can pull off while someone's watching you or within earshot. Even with the Misty Visions invocation that removes the spell's material component, you still have to say magic words and wave your arms around to cast it. Unless, of course, you use the subtle spell metamagic. This means a lot of the tricks I mentioned before are best accomplished when there are no onlookers around. Otherwise, they'll see that you cast the spell and immediately be suspicious of your illusion. Rule number two is that silent image can't create light. While that's not explicitly stated in the spell's description, light falls under the category of other sensory effects. I'm basing this off the wording of Minor Illusion, which states you can't create sound, light, smell, or any other sensory effect. Clearly the game treats light as a sensory effect. I don't know why the devs didn't explicitly include light in silent image as a spell description, but there we are. Rule number three is that you cannot copy the effects of fog cloud, darkness, disguise self, invisibility, blindness, deafness, or any other spell with silent image. This is just a general rule of thumb, if your question boils down to can I use silent image to do something that another spell does, the answer is no or not exactly. Silent image can create illusory fog in a 15 foot cube, but once a creature sees physical interaction with the fog and realizes that it's not moving naturally, the jig is up. So at best, you can get attack advantage once from being an unseen attacker, or one attack disadvantage at you from being an unseen target before the fog ceases to act like fog anymore. Same goes for any darkness-like effects. Disguise self doesn't work because the illusion only moves when you use an action for it to move, and it doesn't hold up to physical interaction, which you'll be doing a lot if you're basically standing inside of a hologram. It'll just look weird. That's also why faux invisibility effects don't work with silent image. Another thing to remember is that physical interaction with the illusion causes any creatures who witness that interaction to see the illusion revealed. So if you or an enemy shoot an arrow through your illusory wall, anyone who sees that happen will see through the illusion. This was confirmed by Jeremy Crawford as the rules is intended way to run minor illusion and, by extension, silent image. Rule number 5 is that you cannot make illusions of multiple creatures and or objects. The spell's phrasing is very specific. An object, a creature, or some other visible phenomenon. That means you can't conjure a whole illusory party or a row of suits of armor, for example. Some players will try to argue that some other visible phenomenon can include, well, anything, including multiple creatures or multiple objects, but in my opinion that's not a good faith argument for the spell's intended effect. However, I'd let making a silent image of a swarm of creatures slide since they have stat blocks like single entity creatures. And my final rule reminder is that silent image only moves when you use an action. It doesn't continuously move over the spell's duration. This means that you can't create a false set of armor or something that moves along with a specific creature. It would just look wonky. And the real body slash armor beneath the illusion would clip out of the illusion all the time as you breathe and or make micro movements, revealing the thing as illusory. However, this might be an incredibly pedantic point and many DMs allow for the image to be continuously in movement. 
especially if you're casting Silent Image out of combat and can continuously use your action to maintain the illusion's movement. So to wrap things up, is Silent Image a good spell? Yes, I think that Silent Image is a great spell. While it certainly has its limits and relies on some level of DM fiat, there are many useful illusions you can create in a 15-foot cube. Silent Image rewards creative thinking, and the ideas I've mentioned here are just a starting point for many variations you can pull off. As long as you don't try to squeeze out an unrealistic amount of power from this first level spell, you'll be fine. For someone with the Misty Visions invocation, being able to cast it at will means you can use Subterfuge as an option at all times. It might not always be the right tool for the job, but it's a tool you'll always be glad to have on your belt. If you're worried about how powerful Silent Image will be in your particular game, ask your DM how they plan to rule on some of the edge cases and general weirdness of illusion spells. For my two cents, I find that players can easily become disillusioned by their illusion spells, frequently failing to work. And so I err on the side of allowing Silent Image to create impactful advantages for the party, as long as they plan the thing well and it's believable that the creatures you're controlling would be fooled by the illusion. At least for a time. Anyway, do you have any other fun uses for Silent Image that I missed, or questions about the spell that I didn't cover? Let me know in the comments. This is D&D Lounge, wishing you the best of luck in your next spellcasting venture.